Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Wednesday, February 2nd. Today the Universal Church celebrates the feast day of the presentation of the Lord. When Jesus was first presented by the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. Joseph at the temple in Jerusalem. As you will hear in today's gospel passage, there were two unexpected visitors to the Holy Family during the presentation. But each of these visitors provide much insight into Christ and to whom he would become. The selection for today's daily Mass comes to us from the second chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. It reads, When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. He had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, He took him in his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, This child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow widow, until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. In coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. As I mentioned at the beginning of today's reflection, Simeon and Anna's presence and words were definitely unexpected from the perspective of the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. Joseph. And the scripture passage tells us they were amazed at what was said about Jesus. However, I would argue that this event was not unexpected because this encounter between the Holy Family and this prophet and prophetess was predestined by God through the power of the Holy Spirit because Simeon and Anna were there, and each of them were fulfilling a role that the Holy Spirit asked of them in their lives, that they would be witnesses to the advent of the Christ, that they would be participants at the beginning of his journey, and that their lives at the end would see the beginning of the new light, the Messiah and also to share some valuable insight to the Messiah's father and mother. So in the end, the presentation of the Lord was important for all involved because each in their own way got to see and experience how God was working to bring about the redemption of the world through the Christ child. And these words and these interactions are now forever memorialized in sacred scripture for all of us to understand and appreciate how God guided all of them to that very special day at the temple in Jerusalem where they thought they'd fulfill the customs of Jewish law, but what they were actually doing was showing forth the beginning of the public manifestation of the Messiah, the Christ, who would save the people Israel. 
So for each of us, we know that many unexpected things happen in our lives. And we probably struggle with a lot of the unexpected things that fill our lives. But it's my hope and prayer that all of us just trust in God's plan for our lives. That something bigger, more wonderful is going on that day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute is being revealed to us. And that God will put the right people in our lives at the right time so that the unexpected things of our lives can truly point to God's providential plan and how he loves us and cares for us. But most importantly, he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for us. So in the end, as the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord tells us, we never quite know when God in his mercy will intervene in our lives. But if we're always living our faith to the fullest, we will truly be blessed by the Lord, no matter what happens in our lives. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.